All right, we're gonna uh, build a little bit different version of the Mescal's mouse trap. Um, I got this chunk of yellow birch here, and uh, some regular snap traps. I'm gonna use the uh, kill bar and the coil spring in the dog off of them, and we're gonna use that to power our snares. So uh, let's get going on the build. All right, we're gonna start off with a block of wood here. It's uh, nine inches long. It's an uh, inch and three quarters thick. And it's uh, let's see, about five and a half on the width. <clears throat> now I'm just gonna start plucking these uh, staples out of these traps here. Pull them apart. Save all these parts that we're going to use. We'll pull all them apart and start on, start from there. All right, and just like our uh, original Mescal's design, I'm going to drill inch and an eighth holes, two inches deep. I do save all my uh, shavings because they make great uh, bedding for your layer hens in the nest boxes. Nice cushy stuff to drop their eggs on. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is drill the holes for the, uh, for the snare itself, for the wire loop. And then we're going to drill the holes for the thread. What we're doing with this trap we're building is we're getting rid of these fire springs. And we're going to use these here coil springs and a kill bar to power the trap. Makes it a lot easier to set it. Alright, well we got all them holes drilled in there. The 964th bit. Next thing we're going to do is put the uh, springs on. Right, instead of using these here staples that were in the, uh, in the original snap, snap trap to hold the spring down, we're going to use little screw eyes. Makes it a whole lot stronger. I've made these before and stapled them in and they get in the weather and they fall apart. They're never going to fall apart if you use these little screw eyes. So I'll put this together for you. Uh, hope I can get the camera in the right spot so my fingers ain't in the way to show you how to put the spring on. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna set the coil spring down right there. We got we're going to unclasp our kill bar. I'm going to run it through. I'm going to run it through the, uh, the eye, through the spring, through the eye. Clip that end on. Fold that back and put our spring on. Put our spring catch on, and now, now we're spring loaded. All right. Next thing we're going to do is going to screw another little screw eye right in here for the dog. Not like that. Clip our dog in. Now with it set, when you tie it, you're going to use the old Mescal's thread method. Tie your thread and that's going to hold the dog down. And when they break the thread, that'll go off and it'll pull the snare up. Alright, now I'm going to take my little piece of stainless snare wire and thread it up through them holes. Just like that there. Alright, then we'll take some wraps around the kill bar with the snare wire and uh, that'll complete that part. Just make sure your, your snare, when it's set, reaches all the way down to the bottom. All right, now we got this all put together. We got all the snare loops in, all the springs are on. Uh, we're gonna take a piece of uh, this uh, 1 8 inch rod and two poultry staples that I cut the uh, one side of it off. 
and we're going to use that as our setting bar and make it a lot easier to set this trap. I drilled a small pilot hole to put that staple in so we don't crack the wood when we hammer that in. Alright, to set this trap, we got our setting bar right here. Drill a little hole in the corner here so we can stow it. We're going to just slip this under there. Go right on down the line. Slipping the dogs under the setting bar. And now it's now all your springs are held down. You got two free hands to take your needle and thread and set your trap. I like to come up through the bottom over the dog. Back through. And now we'll tie a tie a knot right here. So all in all, we took an old design, put some uh, new technology into it. Uh, makes the trap a little faster. It's a little stronger. It's a lot easier to set with that setting bar, and uh, works great. We'll, uh, I'll throw it out tonight, bait it up, and uh, see what we catch in the morning.